Hey y'all, I'm back again with another reaction <laughs> um, uh, to a, n a new album from an artist I don't really listen to that much. It's A Boogie with the Hoodie was his album Artist 2.0. Now, like I, I don't really, I'm, 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 like I said before, like I don't really listen to A Boogie like that. Like uh, it's not that I think he's bad. I, I just never really thought he was for me. But I like songs from him like Unhappy, Jungle, Drowning. And that's really about it, but maybe I'll find some other songs I listen to on here. Um, there's 20 songs on here, and I, I know I have, like, grass about albums being too long, so I'm just gonna do this. Like, uh, if, if this album gives me at least six songs, I will go back to. Six. Six songs I will go back to. Then I won't give a four out of ten. I won't give a four out of ten. It won't, it probably won't be an eight out of ten, but I won't give a four out of ten. Deal? Deal. I'm actually gonna write them down. What? I need a pin. Okay, I got a pin. I got a pin. See? I'm gonna write them down in this little booklet. We're gonna play the first song, which is called Thug Love. When we up and hit it while you got your dong on, yeah. Head side, leave you like a best of board needles, yeah. Right in us, don't make them. I just wanna be a rock star like the Beatles. I ain't no fucking stunt, man. Okay, so that song, like, I mean, it wasn't, like, terrible. It's just, like, it was kind of boring, honestly. Like, it, like, at first, like, I was thinking, like, okay, this is a nice song vibe, too. And then he switched to find all the love stuff to, like, this thug type of stuff. Like, he'll shoot somebody and stuff like that. And talking about, like, how he hopes his daughter never, he hopes his daughter never meets a person like him. So it's kind of, like, went on with that, like, really, like, a lot changed. It just made the song, like, a bit boring to me. So, yeah, that sounds like a no. It could grow on me in the future, but I don't know. I'm weird with my taste of music. Next song is Cinderella Story. Body, my vibe is your body. Missing your deep throat, yeah. Couldn't find a bitch that could. When you come around, I get shy when I see you. Okay, that song is just the same as the other song. Like, don't, but like one of the big gripes about it is like I feel like it sounds like a little bit too much like the first like the first song. And it's not like he his voice is like okay. It's just like it's not really going on about like what he's talking about. It seems like he talks about more about how much he misses sex than he does actually missing a relationship. That's just me. It's just like like get like you know what I mean. Like it's just. It's just like not regaining really any like the production, like it's just like sounds the same. Like and I'm literally about to take off my shirt because it is so hot in here. It literally got so hot that I need to bring the fan out of my garage into my room. Keep that in mind. Next song is Me and My Guitar. It's just me and this guitar playing a song. It's sweat going down in my balls. I'm having withdrawals. It's crazy. I hope I just put my pictures. If you lie, I won't forgive you. Okay, that was the first. That's the first song on the list right there. I really love the production and what he did with his voice. And like, sure, like what he's talking about, like wasn't really nothing much. But we gotta start somewhere, okay? So let me write this down. Okay, it's one out six song. Okay, one out six. Next song is "My Not Give Up." Okay, I like that song. It's just like I, I don't know. I was kind of indifferent with Young Thug's verse. I don't know if I liked it or if I didn't like it. I don't even know if indifferent even means that. But yeah, I was just kind of like. And how about Young Thug, but like then again, he has made a song where like he's had like it, this song's kind of like some country like production in my opinion. Young Thug has been on that, been on that with the I think it's like Easy Breezy Beautiful Thuggy Girls thing was on. Country Billy made a couple million. That's all. That's all I remember from the album. In relationship with Future, that was also a good song. But I like the song like because the production's like different. Kind of like kind of like a country is guitar, country is like vibe, I guess. And they boogie did okay. It took me a bit to get into it, but I'll still say I was a pretty decent. We're almost halfway there, okay? Next song is Numbers featuring Ryan Rich and could be someone else. Fun fact. 
fact, I remember when I said when I did a re uh, review on please excuse me, please excuse me free antisocial. I said I didn't like to toast that much. I changed my mind. I actually really love this song. Tell the nigga touch my chain, fuck it, nigga, kill him, fuck it, make it take me. I said that made bad when I gaze at tell my brothers ball a hundred songs. All my niggas know Christian Dio, the sweater, the double dog came with the umbrella. Got some little hummus, got some powder cheese, and a spare five hundred. Yes, they better fig in, so you wouldn't have been telling Another song I like. Another song I like. We're already halfway there. Numbers. I really like my favorite person was Roddy Rich on there because I just love like how like he switches his voice where I I know that wasn't English, I don't care. But some when he does that I think it's pretty interesting. And honestly, him and A Bookie have like a, have like pretty good chemistry. Like I feel like they could honestly do like a collab album and it'd be pretty it'd be pretty decent. And like Gunna, I thought he was okay, it's just like his verse is like a bit short. Like I don't hate it's like, you know, I don't hate Gunna. It's just like his album, I guess when it's more into him when he does features than his on a solo work, but that's just me. Next song is Stan featuring the baby. Put a stain on a nigga if he oh, Stain, not Stan. I've been the best as a kid in the neighborhood when playing tag with the guy holds my dick that be trying to harass the nigga. That nigga ain't wow. <laughs> Another song on the list. Okay, so the thing is, like, the baby's verse, he was cool. It's just like standard baby. But, like, I really like A Boogie's part because, like, how, like, how, like, he put, like, so much energy and passion into his voice. I think that's what makes him, makes him do better. Like, when he puts, like, more energy into his, ver into, like, his singing and stuff like that. I just feel like it makes the song a bit better. I kind of feel like you kind of hear like the pain inside of him or something like that. But so, so far that song was also a really nice one. Now next one is called Hit Him Up featuring Trap Manny. Okay, I like how that song had like a had like a older school type of style. Like it's kind of feel like you're in like the Wild West, I guess, in a way. Like cowboys and stuff like that. I just got that kind of vibe from that song. I really liked it. Also, I really like the part where he's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I, I thought this part was kind of neat. But like the track Manny person, I thought he was cool. Just like not not they didn't really say that much. Not nigga, neither of them really said that much, but. Yeah, I thought his part was pretty cool, but overall, it was another good song. And we got, and y'all, and you, in this album, got one more song before I consider it higher than 4 out 10. So let's continue on with the next song DTP, DTB for Life. DTB forever, oh God. Oh my god, these songs are just starting to get good. Like, just, like, just so far only two songs on this project I didn't like. And also the first two, but like I said, this album has done pretty well so far. Now first, now this song DDP just say, they say like he can't trust a girl, or he can't trust any, he basically can't trust anybody, he can't even trust himself. Which is kind of understandable, because, again, like I said many years before, hard to trust people nowadays. Nowadays, people say one thing, the next day, turn around and do it and say another, or do another. Like, it's just like, you can't trust people about the word. It's gotta be about your actions. And I found six songs I like from this project so far, so, so far, it is not a 4 out of 10. Yay. Now, that, I don't know that could change, because we're only like halfway through, we're only like almost halfway through the project, so, who knows what could happen, but... Yeah, see you on the flip side. Next song is Calm Down featuring Summer Walker. Okay, okay. First off, that, that beat drop was hard. Oh, we, we gotta replay that. And second off, I like Summer Walker's al album last year, so this could be a good this could be a good one. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's my favorite song of the album so far. <laughs> I really love Summer Walker's hook and like the bait, like how the beat hit at the beginning. Like that was like this, like pure R and B right there. 
Like, the whole song, even A Boogie's part, it was really good. Like, that's the thing. Like, I just love R&B. I just love it. Like, this hasn't been, like, any R&B album that I know of that dropped this year. And this is, like, a close second, I guess. So, I'm not going to say too much because we're not even through the album yet. But let's just continue on. Next song is Another Day Gone featuring... Featuring Khaled, I was hoping it was Kalani, but, oh yeah, that's another thing. Who y'all prefer, Summer Walker or Kalani? Let me know, like, in the poll below, in the comments section below. You keep wasting your time on your body. If I, Ooh. look at you, my baby, invite me, invite me. Get too hard, I have to try, but you got a gun on your side, so you keep moving. Like a nice chill song, like it's not like the best song I've heard on here, but like it's like a nice chill is type of song that you can just listen to while you're in the car. Honestly, you can listen to the other songs, I, I, you can honestly listen to like most of this album with on in the car, but that's just my opinion. But I'll still put on the list, like that was still a pretty decent song, though. Uh, so we have eight out of six songs, I mean. Yeah, we put on eight out of twenty songs so far, and we're and we're halfway through the album, so let's just continue on. Next song is "Good Girls Gone Bad." I swear, like I'm not I'm not saying because of me. Don't don't you don't you dare think that I'm not saying because of me, but. Being the friend zone sucks. Okay, like that sounds okay. It's just like I, I feel like it's more to me meant like an interlude and like a song that you like replay over and over again, but that's just my opinion. Um I say that a lot. That's this is my opinion. Of course it's my opinion, it's my video. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, but I don't think I'll like replay like over and over again. Next song is Blah My Denim. The song like that, that 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 like a uh, piano. It kind of reminds me of like Juice World song, like a uh, empty. From the I know I will, I will, I will go around now. I think I'm coming back home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like that song, like I, y'all remember, y'all remember, y'all. I'm sure you y'all know, but now that's just like remind me of that song. <laughs> Isn't it the argument some gr that girls have to use, like, like when guys do it, it's cool, when they do it, they're a hoe? I don't know. This generation messed up. I'm, that's all I can say. This generation. Huh, commitment just went out the window. I really like that song because, like, um, like, he's been talking about, I feel like he's been talking about what he's been talking about throughout the album, just like, like girls seem like giving that like attention like back when he wasn't really that much, and then now like he's blowing up now he had had like same ones like like try to hit him up in his comments DM stuff like that. And it just kind of feels like people just like not real. That's just honest. People just are not real. And like how he's talking about, like he lost like a couple friends. Like how he talked about, like you met you play with him he gon he you know he gonna do something to you. And like I like how. Like, what's his voice I like? How he like tries to talk like kind of deep. He tries to sound like kind of mess menacing in a way. And I also like how like when he's like singing like out loud, like having a high pitch like voice. Like, it kind of sound like he's like like just like laying everything out, like how he's feeling and everything, like he's flexing all that. He's like all out. And I, and I know saying like the songs and like like honestly, it's pretty cool. My phone just like been tripping now like lately. I don't know why. It's just like it hasn't really been my friend lately. Can you load? Thank you. Thank you. Now we're on to the next song called, let's see, R.O.D. I wanna taste it and if I say I care, then I care. We know I don't trust bitches. And I don't mean it disrespect, cause you know I love women. Just put it down, 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 put it down. I take care. Look, I've been bugging lately. I've been feeling hardest. Huh? Okay, I like that song because he kind of slowed it down from like the previous, like the on like the previous songs. Which I like. Here's the thing, like I like how he's kind of like switching up the sounds and stuff. Yeah, some are like more hype, some are kind of like more slow. I like that. I like how he's switching up, making like not making like not like really generic or monotonous or boring or anything like that. It's just like wow. It's just like nothing really. Bad about it, and actually, like half of, half 
I like 10 songs out of 20 so far. Half the album. Half the album I like. That says something. Next song. Get out of my ass like I'm this. You don't think that got away from me. Don't think that got you. You think you slick. You not. Why well, I like about that song is like how like um how like the production sound on it. Like it's just, it's kind of sound like uh, like a dark like you kind of like you're out you know, like in outer space or something like that like a spacey type of vibe to it. Sure, like what he's saying wasn't really that much. And plus, I like how he kind of switched like the sound like the auto tune like the sound of his voice a little bit. I like that so far. And yeah, I might go back to that song. That might be the song I go back to. Next song is... <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice, but... Next song is Right Back. I feel like I heard that before. I feel like I heard that before. I, for I just forget where it's from. Fuck up my money, then I'm gonna get it right back. If you fuck my luck, it's your mother child, but like 99, I heard crucify you. I started thinking with my mind, and I'm my dick, yeah. Stop it! Not the song. I think it was like cool. It's just like I don't know. It's just like I'm not really feeling it that much. I like I I like the sample though. It's just like I'm not really feeling it that much. I'm not gonna lie. Next song is "Love Is Art" featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi, when your album dropped in? I can't believe people thought it was dropping on Friday. <laughs> and then guess what? It didn't drop. <laughs> and I was just up in stylish, felt like a privilege now. Me and my boss, you know my body, girl. You know me, yeah, yeah. Grown man, always trying to pick at you. Got a glock and you can show me. on your shoulder. Like, I like that I actually like that song, too. It, it actually feels good hearing Lil Uzi. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, ever since, like, a year or so since Love's Rage 2 dropped, I haven't really been listening to him like that. I like his Flitzel Shuffle song. It's just like, I'm ready for, I actually do want a project, but, like, if like eternal like, take comes out or not, like I'm not like I'm not like, hoping it comes out. I'm just saying like if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Could be like the car five in a little bit. Like after a couple years, it'll drop. I don't know. Love is art. That's another song on the list. Next song is King of My City. Like, I really like that song too. Like, like, just on love, he's the king of his city. And like, I like the music video too. It kind of gave me like the Joker. I feel like you kind of go for like a vibe like kind of like the Joker movie. You know, I haven't seen the movie personally. I've seen trailers of it. It's kind of gives you that kind of vibe. And I also seen like little clips like what happens in the movie and stuff like that. So, king of my city, that's another thumbs up. Next is Moose Wings with another music video. I like how I'm already bobbing my head and the music hasn't come on yet. I'm a beast, I'm a Oh, this song. Okay, that song was cool. It's just like, I don't think I'll go back to it that much. Like, it was just, uh. Next song is Replay for the Little Lucy. I thought this. I already played listen to this song before, that was cool. Not really much to say about it. But next, the next song, the final song is Streets Don't Love You. Bitches used to curb me, used to swerve me, nigga, now look. Damn, I'm glad that I came up, cause I ain't know where I would end up. The 30 clip is put up to the crib, be living with his mom, so. But they don't even care. Start squeezing at the door, and then he seen his mom's laid out on the floor. He dropped down some. Ooh. Ooh, oh my god. Um. I wasn't expecting that part to hit me so hard, but like he like wait, he talking about he shot his own mother? Wow, like that was actually the more deeper that's like the deepest song on this project. Like he's talking about how the hood doesn't love you, like how like he lost on his friends in the hood, how he can't trust people, how like he can't can't, can't trust a girl because like all the girls like uh, curved him and stuff like that. Now that he's like popping, like now girls want him and stuff like that, and he just passes him to like his other friends and stuff like that. And then he talks about the story by because this one guy like, shot his mom by accident and then he ended up shooting himself, which like it's kind of like a dark story. I I wasn't expecting that. 
And that's also made me like the write the song a bit more because like it's just like a really deep song. Then like it's not even really deep a song on here because it's different from like what we've been hearing. He's in, he's mostly he's been talking like uh sex and and like uh relationships and stuff like that, but like this is like more like the more deeper songs on here. So that's easily a plus for me.